Hi and hello friends. In this video we are going to discuss the uses of three important people in English language. Do, does and did. Remember you all have started learning English language. So in traditional conservative grammar classes teachers use lot of uh, terminology auxiliary verbs main verbs action verbs regular and irregular verbs but in our videos we have not been confusing you with terminology we have been making the videos as simple as possible by avoiding terminology i hope you all have been enjoying our videos now this video is about do family there are be family members have family members and do family members in do family there are three members do does and did how these three people are going to help me in making sentences how to use them where to use them when to use them and why to use them let us see in this video do does and did do does did these are the three members in do family do does and did now first point these two people indicate present tense do and does always 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 no exceptions they indicate present tense remember it and did indicates past tense did is always used for past tense i hope that's clear do and does indicate present tense and did indicates past tense now how many people will use do goes with five people i we first person i and we second person you second person you third person they and any living or non living plural noun let us use one plural noun called children i do we do you do they do children do i do we do you do they do children do so three or four days you have to repeat this part as loudly as possible then it sinks into your mind now what about this person this gentleman goes with four people he she it then any living singular or non living thing let us say john or any non living car he does she does it does john does car does he does she does it does john does car does these are all basics these are all fundamentals now what about this small young beautiful sweet little three letter word d i d did he is so accommodative so nice so soft spoken so gentle that he goes with all these people he does not believe in any indiscrimination i did we did you did she did he did they did james did children did did goes with all the nine people this is grammar before using do does did in your sentences make it a point to remember do and does indicate present tense did indicates past tense do can go with i we you they and any plural noun does can go with he she it any singular living or non living noun and did goes with all the people first person second person third person singular and plural did indicates past tense do and does indicate present tense this is called grammar once you become familiar once you become good at remembering this information then it becomes easy for you to make sentences take a look at these sentences with do
they do the experiments. They do the work. They do jogging. They do swimming. They do some projects or project work. Now, we have made these sentences with do. This is called subject. This is called verb. Here we are taking the help of do. Experiment, work, jogging, swimming, project work, all these things come under other words. Grammar calls them gerund. Jogging and swimming are called gerund. And experiment, work, project work, they are called nouns. So other words in the sense, you can use nouns or gerunds. So this is one way of making the sentences. They do the job. They do the work. They do the experiments. They do jogging. They do swimming. They do yoga. They do some project work. They do the practice every day. This is the way of making the sentences. So here you can keep five types of subjects. As I have told you just now, I do the work, we do the work, you do the work, they do the work, children do the work. They do the experiment, I do the experiment, we do the experiment, you do the experiment, they do the experiment. So you can keep five types of subjects here, keep do and you can add nouns there. Now this type of sentence you use to talk about present tense. We can use them to talk about present tense. And in this sentence, you are concentrating on the work done by these people on regular basis usual basis, routine basis. It is their daily practice. They do the experiments, they do the work, they do jogging daily, they do swimming very well, they do teaching very well, they do the homework regularly, they do the classwork regularly, they do cooking very well. So all these examples indicate regular, routine, permanent actions. We are concentrating on do. So make sentences like this. After that, try to learn how to make four forms with each example. I'll tell you how each example can be used in four ways. Look at these examples. They do the experiments. They do the experiments in the laboratory. This is affirmative sentence. They do the experiments. Now I want to learn how to convert this into negative form. They don't do. They do, they don't do. They do, they don't do. We do the work, we don't do the work. You do the work, you don't do the work. Children do the work, children don't do the work. He, they do the work, they don't do the work. They don't do the experiments. They do the experiments, they don't do the experiments. These are statements. What about questions? Just take him from here, keep him here. Do they do? Two times we use it. Do they do the experiment? Do they do the experiment? So people call one is the auxiliary verb, the other is the main verb. Fine, you can call it one auxiliary verb, one main verb. But terminology is not important. You have to remember the point that do and do. They appear like this in between a subject. Do they do the experiment regularly? Yes, they do the experiment regularly. No, they don't do the experiment regularly. Don't they do. 
don't they do the experiments in the laboratory repeat all the four they do the work they don't do the work do they do the work don't they do the work they do the job they don't do any job do they do any job don't they do any job they do the project work they don't do the project work do they do the project work don't they do the project work they do jogging every day they don't do jogging every day do they do jogging every day don't they do jogging every day this is the way of making four forms with each example this is the way we have to use do form now let us see how do helps me in making some more sentences take a look at these sentences they don't come they don't go they don't eat they don't drink they don't read they don't write they don't work what do you find in these sentences this is subject this is don't i am using it in a negative form don't or do not it's the same come go eat drink read write work all these are called action verbs which form base form these are the base forms of the action verbs they don't come they don't go they don't eat they don't drink they don't read they don't write they don't work now here i can use not only they but i can also use i i don't come we don't come you don't come children don't come i and we first person you second person they and children third person 1 2 3 4 5 you can use it maximum for five people now repeat i do not come we do not come you do not come they do not come children do not come i don't go we don't go you don't go children don't go they don't go i do not eat we don't eat they don't eat you don't eat children don't eat we don't drink you don't drink i don't drink they don't drink children don't drink i do not read such books we don't read such books you don't read such books they don't read such books children don't read such books this is the way of making the sentences now how are we making sentences we are taking five types of subjects because they are allowed then we are keeping don't here as a set don't or do not then here we are adding base forms then we are getting sentences like this so if i have good collection of base forms i can make hundreds of sentences like this i don't come i don't go i don't read i don't write i don't talk i don't listen i don't sing i don't dance i don't play i don't read i don't write i don't go to school i don't play outdoor games i don't play indoor games like this when should i use them when you are talking about negative actions when you are talking about negative actions which are not done by these people on regular basis not today or not tomorrow not on temporary basis but regular basis for example she is a vegetarian they are vegetarians they don't eat non vegetarian food they don't go to holy places they don't go to libraries they don't play outdoor games they don't enjoy action movies they don't enjoy horror movies these examples indicate that it is common for them it is usual for them it is regular permanent for them not to do certain actions so negative actions which are regularly not done routinely not done always not done by people there we use this type of examples this type of sentences so this is the second use of don't we take subject we put don't and we keep verbs this is the second use now you can also use do 
to talk about positions. I don't have. Just look at these words. I don't have. We don't have. You don't have. They don't have. Children don't have. I and we first person, you second person, they and children third person. So don't have. What do these two words mean? The position is not there with us. So when you want to talk about positions which are not there, we use these sentences. I don't have money. We don't have money. You don't have money. They don't have money. Children don't have money. I don't have time. We don't have time. You don't have time. Children don't have time. They don't have time. I don't have experience. We do not have experience. You don't have experience. They do not have experience. Children don't have experience. I don't have patience. We don't have patience. You don't have patience. They don't have patience. Children don't have patience. I don't have fear. We don't have fear. You don't have fear. They don't have fear. Children don't have fear. I don't have confidence. We don't have confidence. You don't have confidence. They don't have confidence. Children don't have confidence. So this type of sentences are used when you want to tell that so and so item is not there with people. How to make sentences? Take any one subject among these five, then keep don't have here as it is, then keep on adding nouns, as many nouns as possible. So these nouns indicate positions. If you keep don't have here, it indicates that this item is not there with these people. So this is the way of making sentences with do form verbs about the uses of does. T O E S. Does. Does is another important verb in English language. T O E S. Does. Now he comes from a family called do family where there are three members do, does and did. In this video we are going to learn how this person helps us in making some sentences in English language. Now before using them, uh, using before using him in making sentences, let us try to know something about this person. Now does is called a verb in English language and he indicates present tense. We use it only for present tense. We can use it only for present tense. Fine. Now, what about the subject? How many people can use does? Four people. He, she, it, and any singular name. Let us say Robert. He does, she does, it does, Robert does. So these are the four people who can use does. It indicates present tense. This is important information we must remember. If we compromise here, if we violate any of these points, it is going to be a mistake. It is going to be a mistake. Does indicates present tense used by four people, he, she, it and any singular living or non-living thing name. Now how can I make sentences. Now after this, if you keep a noun, it becomes one small sentence. For example, he does the job neatly. He does the job neatly. She does the job neatly. It does the job neatly. Robert does the job neatly. He does the work perfectly. She does the work perfectly. It does the work perfectly. Robert does the work perfectly. He does the experiments every day. She does the experiments every day. It does the experiments every day. Robert does the experiments every day. He does jogging daily. She does 
jogging daily it does jogging daily robert does jogging daily this is the way of using it in sentences subject does noun jogging you call it jirant ing noun verbal noun so take a subject take does keep any noun or gerund form the sentence is ready he does the job he does the work he does the experiments he does jogging now after making some sentences like this immediately try to know how you can make four forms with that i will tell you how each sentence can be converted into four variations look at these sentences he does he experiments he does he experiments now how to convert this into negative form he does not he doesn't do now this is very important he does he does not do he does he does not do he does he does not do repeat 10 or 20 times till you feel comfortable with it he does the experiment he does not do the experiments does he do this is important does he do does he do does he do does he do you have to repeat 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 till you feel comfortable with that does he do the experiments doesn't he do again repeat it doesn't he do doesn't he do doesn't he do doesn't he do the experiments so these two are statements these two are questions he does the experiment he does not do the experiment does he do the experiment doesn't he do the experiment now third person singular that's why does third person singular that's why does third person singular does third person singular does when does enters the sentence you will find the base form here he does the work he does not do the work does he do the work doesn't he do the work he does jogging every day he does not do jogging every day does he do jogging every day doesn't he do jogging every day he does exercise every day he does not do exercise every day does he do exercise every day doesn't he do exercise every day while practicing replace he with she replace she with it replace it with any singular name like ravi ravi does the experiments ravi does not do the experiments does ravi do the experiments doesn't ravi do the experiments this is a way of using does to make sentences now we shall see how else does help me in making sentences read these sentences she doesn't read she doesn't write she doesn't talk she doesn't go to school she doesn't come to the library she doesn't take medicines she doesn't work she doesn't sleep early these are the sentences we are making with the help of doesn't this part is called subject and here we are taking the help of doesn't doesn't or does not is the same does goes with he she it and any singular living or non living name now read write talk go come take work sleep all these are called verbs action verbs they belong to the category base form take subject take doesn't and keep adding action verbs in base form then the sentences are ready for you when to use this type of sentences when a person does not do these actions regularly he does not have the habit of doing these actions she does not read the newspapers 
I mean to say that she does not have that habit of reading the newspapers. She does not write letters to anybody. I mean to say that this lady does not have this habit of writing the letters. She does not talk much, meaning it is her nature. She is a taciturn. She doesn't talk much. She does not go to the library, meaning she does not have the habit of going to the libraries. She does not come to the laboratory regularly. The habit is not there. She does not take medicines, meaning it is her habit not to take medicines. So these sentences are used when you are saying that the subject doesn't do those actions on daily basis, regular basis, routine basis, permanent basis. She does not play outdoor games, meaning she doesn't have that habit. She does not see horror movies, meaning she does not like them. That is the way we have to use these sentences. So this is the second use of doesn't or does, how to make use of it in English sentences. Now let us see how does helps me in making one more sentence. Read these sentences. He doesn't have. Try to understand this much only. He doesn't have. She doesn't have. James doesn't have. Anil doesn't have. It doesn't have. Doesn't have. Doesn't have. Doesn't have. What does it mean? The position is not there negative position. He doesn't have money. He doesn't have time. He doesn't have experience. He doesn't have patience. He doesn't have energy. This is how doesn't have helps me in making sentences. He doesn't have time. He doesn't have friends. He doesn't have knowledge, he doesn't have experience, he doesn't have self-confidence, he doesn't have any weaknesses, he doesn't have any strengths, he doesn't have common sense, he doesn't have sixth sense, he doesn't have any property in his hometown, he doesn't have any land, he doesn't have any two-wheeler, he doesn't have any four-wheeler, he doesn't have a laptop, he doesn't have desktop, he doesn't have a hut, he doesn't have a house, what not, what not, what not. All these examples indicate the absence of possession on regular basis. If something is not there with a person, we use this type of sentences. Take doesn't have, only doesn't have. You should not put has or had. After doesn't, he is the only one who is allowed. And here you can keep he, she, any singular name of a living or non-living thing. He doesn't, she doesn't, Anil doesn't, it doesn't have. Then here you can add as many nouns as possible. These examples indicate absence of position. He doesn't have time to talk to me. He doesn't have energy to play football. He doesn't have money to buy books. He doesn't have the confidence of giving the answers. That is how we use these sentences. They are used to talk about absence of positions and these examples indicate present tense. So friends, this is how does helps me in making sentences. Does is an important word and many non-native English speakers often get confused with Thus, where to use and when to use about the ways and techniques of learning English language. In this video, we are going to discuss an important person called did. D-I-D, did. How this person can help me in making sentences in English language and where he can help me. So let us try to know more about 
did in this video after watching this video i am sure you will clear all your doubts related to did did is one of the most troublesome persons for many non native english speakers so all your doubts are going to be cleared in this video let us try to know more about did did is a member of two family in this family we have three members do does and did in our earlier videos we have discussed the uses of do and does and in this video we are going to discuss how to use did did is a verb in english language you need not call it an auxiliary verb or a main verb don't get carried away by the terminology call him a verb that is enough now he indicates past tense he is past tense specialist he always indicates past tense he should be used only for past tense and he is such a nice fellow that he does not have any discrimination he goes with all the people in english language first person i and we second person you third person he she it they any singular name or any plural name that's it so you don't have to worry much here you don't have to struggle because he is used by all the people i did we did you did he did she did it did they did ravi did anil did children did workers did all the people can use did it indicates past tense this is grammar before making sentences with did you have to remember this information if you violate any rule if you use it for present or future tense it is going to be a big disaster called grammar mistake so never do that mistake try to remember two points indicates past tense used by all people now how can i make sentences with this sweet little three letter word